Phew! Uh, did Yuma wake up or something? Feeling fairly tired, I throw myself down on the bed. Alright, oh, it's the opposite. We managed to finish filing all the documents, so tomorrow should now be a pretty late back day. Which is good. Hey Konami, are you gonna confess? Konami? The doors open. Oh, you're wearing your casual clothes. Not your pajamas yet? <laughs> Shogi? It's true that I'm a bit tired, but one game is perfectly fine. Alright. Yeah. Come to think of it, the last time she invited me to a match, we ended up just talking without actually playing. I have to go to the bathroom first, get everything ready in the meantime. And she's going to confess to him. <laughs> well then, let's properly serve her as an opponent this time. Yeah, I'm ready to go. With the setup Shogi bought situated between us, I sit down facing her. You seem to be highly motivated today. Why if he's like trying to beat Yuma, right? Because sh sh she has never beaten Yuma before, right? So maybe it's like by beating Yuma, what? She'll have the she'll gain the right to <laughs> confess to Yuma? His her love? <laughs> or something like that. Oh, okay, I see now. I see what she's trying to do. I see. Give it your best. Alright, girl. I've always been saying that, haven't I? That I have no clue why I keep winning against you myself. So in a way, it really doesn't concern me. Well, you trying to, you want to prove me wrong? Alright, you go, prove me wrong. I'm looking forward to it. Then Konami, who is facing the board with a serious expression, makes the first move. Alright. Because you're highly motivated. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Um, yeah, this is a really nice pose, and I don't know why, I'm just looking at somewhere in the center. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Approximately 15 minutes after the game started. It's still too early to tell where's the upper hand, but the bot is already displaying considerable movement. Seems you're able to concentrate really well today. I retain both of Konami's knights, which I snatched away from her ranks, in hand. Usually she gets into a slum as soon as her knights are taken, but not today. She keeps making solid moves. No, in fact, I even got the impression that she deliberately used them as build so as to invite me to capture them. Maybe that shows just how serious she is. Yeah, you, you know, in war you have to sacrifice some stuff in order to win overall. Yeah, that's chess for you. I'm looking forward to that, yeah. While saying that, I move one of my pieces. Okay, I was just waiting for her to say that. <laughs> Isn't it still too early to undo your move? Wait, 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 you're gonna confess now? In the middle of the shogi match? <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Did you just uh, move a piece to say check or something? Konami makes a considerably difficult move. A bold move that could immediately backfire on her if she makes even the slightest mistake. Maybe I'll lose for real today. And it will be a big turning point. How about this? Huh. Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, you, you really do play just like that cross my mind? You mean like that? <laughs> like him, okay. According to Konami, it seems I make moves exactly the same as our big dad used to. Why did he play several times with that? I can't tell for myself at all. Did you win against that though? I half rely on my intuition when I make my moves though. Yeah, I mean when you can't you when you can't use logic you use intuition. 
you know, just go for your gut feeling, right? <laughs> I know that she sees that former figure in me when we play. And that's probably the reason why she always challenges me. Konami says that she used to have a father complex in the past, but she actually still has one. No, Ko no, Yuma, now she has a brother complex. Have you ever even thought of that? So, what did you want to say? Okay, after his next move, then you're going to checkmate him, and then you confess. By the movement of a silver general, my turn comes up. Huh? Then... Wait just a moment. Despite spending some time thinking, in the end my usual intuition makes the final call, and I make my move. Okay, I'm done. Oh, she's going to say it? <gasps> she's going to say it! Konami inhales slightly. After staring at the surface of the shogi board with a serious expression, she begins to speak. Here we go. First I say, first she should say, I have a brother complex. <laughs> I love you! Okay. <laughs> Why is it? Um, you're sorry? Because you're in love with him, that's why you're sorry? Oh, I guess. That makes sense. What are you saying all of a sudden? Ignoring my puzzled voice, Konami continues. Here we go. Yeah, and I, ah, uh, and I don't mean, I don't just mean I like you, no, no not just suki, no, dai suki, ai shiteru, love, lovey, lovey you. <laughs> she casually says that. It's something I often hear her say, an expression of her affection towards me as a brother. I love you too. That's not how you. Yeah, as in Renai, yeah, romantic love. Kona, me? That's not how I meant it. I'm sorry. The actual meaning behind Konami's words is probably yep. As a man, yeah, not as a brother, but as a man. What? That she's uh, in love with me. That's what she's saying. <gasps> yeah. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Having said what she needed to say, she continues with the game of shogi as if nothing happened. W wait. Do you understand what you're? I think this I think Konami is smart to challenge Yuma to a game of shogi so that he couldn't think immediately because they <laughs> and then to confess in the middle of the shogi match. Yeah, because that way you know um Yuma won't be able to think through immediately. <laughs> They also get distracted so that Konami can win also. <laughs> Maybe that's 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 that too. I, yeah. She says that no so non challenging. But right now those words Konami just said keep resounding in my head. Inhibiting my ability to think normally. Maybe that's just part of her strategy. <laughs> you never know. But, but she's serious actually. She's serious. Huh? Clack clack. Only the sounds of shogi pieces tapping on the board reverberate through the room. The game before my eyes also seems like it's happening in some distant world. I'm no longer aware of the moves I'm making. I don't know for how many moves this situation has continued. Then, Konami makes a declaration she has never before done in a game against me. Checkmate. Yeah, because Yuma is completely distracted. <laughs> That's why she is confident that she can win. If I knew it, my formation had completely crumbled. Surrounding my isolated king, Konami's pieces stand at the ready. It's my loss. And so today, my record of consecutive victories has been put to an end. Just in Konami's route, that is. Hmm. 
わちうまく天下を手ですもうこれで思い残すことはないかもしれない What? You're gonna die in peace? <laughs> Don't say that You merely won against me That's clearly an exaggeration She appears to be awfully delighted Konami takes the initiative and puts away the shogi pieces The reason for that she stated is that I who kept winning always did it So now it's her turn to do it Seeing her behaving perfectly as usual makes me wonder whether that confession just now really took place or not. But. Yep, you know, Konami is serious, Yuma. It seems he was neither an illusion nor a mishearing. At least she, you know, she confessed. So at least she let out. Her feelings, you know, that's that's really what matters. Now it's all up to Yuma whether he wants to return that love or not. It's all up to Yuma. Yeah. It's not like I lost on purpose because I wanted you to thank me. I mean, you know, like logic will tell you that because brother and sister cannot fall in love because of the loss, the human loss. But well, that just depends on the individual, really. Well, <laughs> you just said it all of a sudden. It's not like I have a choice. It's not like I can just shut my ears, right? <laughs> well, there have been instances where she said things to me that were like a confession before in chess, teasing me like she always does. But all of those only had familiar affection in them. As far as I know, those words were never meant in a romantic way. Yeah, actually you kind of would, yeah. Hmm. I guess she's really serious. It seems she is seriously in love with me. The other day... Our conversation the other day. You told me that there was a guy you're unsure if you're in love with or not, right? Yeah. Is it me? Well, she already said you already know who he is. So that's like a... <laughs> that's like a silly question to ask. She happily says so in an unconcerned manner. Um... Well, I... How should I respond to her sincere feelings? Should I talk about our country's laws? Should I talk about social ethics? I'm sure she knows all that, you know. She knows all that. <laughs> I get the feeling both of those subjects would be wrong. I... She's my precious family member, who has been walking the same path of life alongside me until now. When she was hospitalized, when I got into an accident, when dad passed away, she was always there. No matter what, Konami is the one who has always been right by my side. I... She's like the other half of my body and the, world, and the one I love more than anyone else in the world. I can say that with confidence and pride. But that's probably not the answer Konami wishes for. What she wants to hear is whether you love her or not. Konami? I take a deep breath. I think most likely Konami is prepared for, the, for what you might as well say. The, the obvious answer. But yeah. I think the right thing to do is to answer feelings sincerely. In that case, my answer to her feelings is... I can't return your feelings. Yeah, I mean, Konami knows because, yeah, you know. But I wonder what is going to make Yuma change, you know. Change or, you know, yeah. Uh, make Yuma think otherwise, you know, like... Yeah, make her, him suddenly start to fall in love with Konami. Is it what Konami is going to do afterwards or something like that? Hmm. We'll be curious to see. She wears an expression that makes it seem like she knew that from the beginning. I'm sorry. <laughs> you 
you will think that you know after this, then you know Konami will move on, but it'll be difficult for sure. Yeah, that's if you know things go down this way, con remain this way, you know. Yeah, and Yuma doesn't like change his mind or something like that, which I think he will definitely. Otherwise, we wouldn't be going down this route, right? コナミ。私はただね。気持ちを伝えたかったの。I no, you did nothing wrong. Mm. It doesn't matter who it is. You simply confess to the person you love, and he rejected you. That's all. Yeah. And that person just happened to be me. And I could only see you as family. It's that simple. Giving a sincere answer to Konami's sincere feelings meant there was no other choice but to reject her. Well, that, that is clearly you must sincere feelings. Well, which are about to change soon though. Depends on what Konami does or what what's going to happen later. That's all there is to it. Well, try to be nice, trying to, don't want to hurt your feelings. Huh? <laughs> Gentle? Oh yeah, I mean, he could have like been so shocked that he would like throw a tantrum or something like that. I don't know, but he didn't do that. So you know, he he returned, uh, not say returned her feelings, but he answered yeah her feelings in a in a professional way, in a mature way. So yeah. As I thought, she knew what my answer would be from the very beginning, huh? Konami. <laughs> yeah. Love you for who you are after all. Yeah, Yuma. She loves you for who you are. Well, <laughs> how should I actually answer this though? <laughs> well, as long as you don't go beyond that, I guess it's okay. <laughs> but I. See? Yeah, I think this is going to change. I mean, the fact that Konami keeps loving him means, yeah, he's going to slowly warm up to her. Yeah, and then, you know, the, the a relationship will come about and then, yeah. This is actually quite an interesting route, you know, even though it's an incest route, it's quite interesting because you're trying to like confront the feelings, right, confront an incest relationship which is, you know, logically speaking, it's taboo, right? Yeah, by the laws of humans, <laughs> it's taboo, but that doesn't, but you know, that doesn't mean you can't love your sibling, right? As a, as a romantically, yeah, you know, it kind of questions you, yeah, makes you think about stuff like that. Konami stares at me with a serious case. Seeing her like this, it's impossible for me to refuse her wish. Of course it's not a nuisance, yeah. There we go. So, you might slowly gonna warm up to her. Replying with that, I accept her wish. Until you find a guy you love more than me, up to that time, you can keep loving me until you've had enough. <sighs> now I'm really curious how this is all gonna now you know how this is going to progress really curious 
So until the day she leaves my side. Oh no, <laughs> that would be kind of well. Don't worry, that will they will eventually. You think so, Yuma? I'll at least keep protecting her. Once again, I make that vow to myself. Hmm. All right, so this is a definitely a huge turning point right there. As we come to May seven, she'll stay. Morning, 5 minutes before my alarm rings, I was able to wake surprisingly easily, yet I don't really feel like I had much sleep. Well, you couldn't have much sleep right after that shocking confession. And the reason for that is... more than obvious. <sighs> I get out of my bed and begin to prepare for school. Most likely because of yesterday's document fouling my shoulders feel a bit stiff, but it shouldn't really result in any notable hindrance. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Why are you naked, Yuma? <laughs> oh, good morning, Aoi san. <laughs> hey, hey, don't worry, you have seen me naked before, right? Uh, no, <laughs> not really. Um, it's not like Aoi gave birth to, to him, right? <laughs> With a flushed face, Aoi san shuts the door behind her. But why is he naked? <laughs> We're family, so I don't think there's a need to get flustered over seeing me topless. Okay, he's not naked. He's just half naked. Okay. Come to think of it, that nurse said Aoi san was inexperienced with guys. Really? <laughs> then why? Well, I mean, she, I'm sure she did it with their dad, right? Did she? <laughs> As a matter of fact, she is supposed to have been a married person, though. Precisely. <laughs> well, enough enough about Aoi san. I should get changed quickly. As I'm about to knock in front of Konami's room, I freeze. What happened yesterday crosses my mind. What face should I make in front of Konami? Well, be your usual self, I guess? And I shouldn't be the only one who feels this way. Konami should also be troubled about how to face me. I don't think she is, actually, you know? She said she wants to keep loving you, so she's going to do just that, you know? <laughs> Though the thing is, it seems she already knew beforehand that I would reject her and still confessed her feelings. Hmm. But, the, but time won't stop for the whirling emotions inside me. We have to set off for school soon. If I don't wake her up now, we'll be in danger of being late. I compose myself and knock on the door. Konami? Asadayo, it's morning, time to wake up. But there is no reply to my appeal. Is she sleeping? Konami, wake up. We'll be late. While breathing aside at this everyday occurrence, I put my hand on the doorknob. What if she's actually, uh, well, naked? <laughs> that would be quite awkward. I'm coming in, Jamasuruzo. <gasps> what have you here? As I open the door, there is. What? I knew it. <laughs> well, I didn't say what if she's naked and she's really naked. What are you doing, Konami though? Why are you naked? This is unusual. Don't tell me you slept naked too. Konami? A stuck naked Konami, most likely in the middle of changing. Why you didn't Oh my god. So you're gonna tease him like that? <laughs> my god. But, but why are you naked? You're in the middle of choosing, so you purposely be naked, just wait for Yuma to come. Okay, then you say, oh, I'm in the middle of changing. <laughs> choosing. <laughs> Despite the fact that my agitation renders me unable to build coherent sentences, Konami still manages to scoop out what I want to say and replies accordingly. As one would expect of her. Yes, yeah, she's testing you. She, well, she did say she wants to continue loving you, so this is one of her ways to continue loving you. Thanks to that, the mystery is solved. But that doesn't change the fact that she's naked right now. Yeah? Yeah? 
<laughs> well, you said you're in love with me, so. <laughs> ah, s s sorry! <laughs> well, but the fact that you confess to me means it's gonna get even more awkward, right? But then again, I mean, you know, <laughs> when you're in love means naturally you'll come to the next stage. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Almost as if she read my mind, she voiced the very same thought I had regarding Aoi-san just a couple of minutes ago. I, uh, I'll wait for you downstairs. Uh, <laughs> hurry up and come down as soon as you're ready. What's wrong with me? Why do I have to get so agitated over seeing my sister naked? Well, you're half naked too, so... You want to talk. <laughs> Just how many times have I seen her changing until now? Ah, uh, It seems yesterday's confession had a greater lasting impact on me than I thought. The heat that has gathered to a certain part of my body is reflecting that reality. And in contrast to me, Konami seems to be totally unconcerned. As if a burden has been lifted from her shoulders. Well, it, 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 it has been lifted, that's for sure, because she has confessed her feelings. I think people's feelings can easily change at times. But after what I've just witnessed, I can't help but wonder what will become of them in Konami's case. It's gonna be difficult. As I let my thoughts spin around all of that, I head to the living room while calming my nerves. Okay. Nissan saw me naked. <laughs> and you're happy about it, of course you would. I never would have thought that he would get that flustered. It'll be your fault if I get my hopes up, you know? Oh no. <laughs> Somehow... <laughs> I do find her cute though, that's for sure. Oh, and I think I never noticed this before, but there's a flower on her beret? Oh. As I expected, he did reject me. But he straightly faced my feelings and gave me a sincere reply. Always diligent, always giving it his best, always gentle. I really do love Nissan after all. I want to savor these feelings for just a little while longer. Thoughts like that are whirling inside my head. Okay. What's going to happen? Yeah, just struggle to, you know, try to overcome all these problems. All these obstacles. Actually, he apparently got detention. Why? <laughs> but in order to protect Nissan's honor, I suppressed, I suppressed that fact. According to Yuri Senpai, the reason was that he forgot to do his homework. <laughs> okay. Mio san was quite surprised that Nissan would ever forget his homework though, probably because of that confession. Was it because of what I told him yesterday? That's very true though. Yeah, I mean, if you feel tired, you need some sugar. Pudding? <laughs> Why? You can't you just share? <laughs> Konami is trying to guilt trip. <laughs> trying to guilt trip Tina. Come on, don't be like that, Tina. Don't be so selfish. Oh no! What happened? Hey, Konami! <laughs> she pretended to faint. <laughs> With a light touch, I collapsed on the ground. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, Tina is, is a very gullible person, so... <laughs> Imagining how Tina is panicking beside me right now, the urge to laugh wells up inside me. <laughs> yeah, you can always ask Aoi's son to buy another one, no big deal. <laughs> While stifling my laugh, I slowly get up. And there stands a puzzled Tina. <laughs> Maybe it does. Oh, demo. Ah, love sickness. Koyuazurai? <laughs> Tina, way to go to say that's really great. <laughs> well done. Her brother. <laughs> huh? She doesn't get it yet. You see, Tina, still call her a love fairy. <sighs> Oh my god. Tina, I used to dance, seriously. Do you know what a family fatale even is, Tina? <laughs> I think if I'm not wrong, family fatale is something like a warrior, right? You know, someone who's a female who's brave, who's daring. Yeah, but I don't think you can apply the fact that she loves someone else other than Yuma, a family fatale. <laughs> That's not what a family fatale is. It doesn't apply to that situation. Sometimes I really wonder what kind of TV programs Tina san is watching every day. You still haven't figured it out, Tina? Yep. Well, maybe deep down Yuma-san does love Konami romantically, but those feelings, well, are not really unlocked, or it's more like, yeah, Yuma is uh, more logical than emotional, so, well, but that will change soon, I think. Actually, it, it will, it will change. But the kind of love Tina speaks of, and the kind of love I said I harbor, are similar, yet completely different. Because of the loss of human. <laughs> it could be easily explained by answering, because we're siblings. But Nisan didn't reject me because of that. Well, actually, that's basically no. That's basically no different from siblings, you know. She, she, he loves you as a sibling, as a family sibling, right? Yeah, not as a lover, though. Of course, you wouldn't get it, you know. 
兄さんにとっての私は好みさんはとても素敵な女性だと思いますが<笑> Well, that's not what she meant <笑>ありがとう、ひなさんでもね、本当なんだよ信じられないです Accept the truth, Tina. You cannot bend the, the laws of humans. Continuously muttering the word why, Tina appears to be fairly puzzled. Hmm. How are you so sure, Tina, though? Or maybe it's just her instincts, her intuition that tells her that. Which actually, she is right, you know, because, yeah, I mean, we're going, like I say, we're going down Konami's route, so. Just how happy would it make me if that was true? But, most likely. Yeah, because of logic. Logic. Hmm. If he thought about the strong pressures I would be exposed to as a result of that taboo relationship, most likely, Nisan would still choose to reject me. Yeah, but the the society is not gonna accept it. Yeah, you know, especially our son. That's that's reality. Tina is only saying all this because one thing she's gullible, she's naive, and she's not a human. <laughs> so. She doesn't know the word, the, the ways of society, human society. Seemingly unconvinced, Tina immerses herself in her thoughts once more. About the fact that Konami is in love with Yuma? <laughs> You're about to believe her? You should have believed her. Yeah, as much as I hate to say this, Tina is will be right. Hearing her say that while brimming with confidence, I will start thinking myself that she might actually be right. Before that, I still think that to me, son, I'm. Yeah. What? You're gonna ask him about it? Ask the person himself? Wait, 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 Tina, where are you going? <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> Leaving me with that, Tina rushes out of the house with a plush, he's still resting on her head. Wait, you're gonna to school? <laughs> Do you even know where he is? <laughs> oh yeah, actually, she has been to um, Yuma school before, right? Once before. So she knows the way. But, but <laughs> first of all, I guess I should put away my things and then go after her. Mm, this is gonna be interesting. Hmm? I take out my cell phone and take a look at the screen. It shows that I received a text from Konami. Huh? Tina? The short content of the text reads, Tina-san is on her way to see you. Take care of her. <laughs> there you there, there she is. I guess that's what she meant. As soon as I finish reading the text, I immediately spot Tina dashing in my direction. I think you know what's going to happen here. I predict that. Is that you might going to get very very pissed off with Tina. <laughs> I think so. That's what I presume is going to happen. <laughs> Couldn't you have simply used your Soul Reaper powers to get here without running? 
Can you not be a tsundere? <laughs> Stop giving excuses. Hikikomori, yes. Yeah, hiki hikikomori is basically shut in, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that's a fair point. For that reason, you del deliberately choose not to tell her, huh? <laughs> well, I was just thinking, yeah, I mean, af after going through Aunt's route and now Konami's route, I can't see myself loving Tina actually. I know Tina has a root, so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but we'll see. Strategies. Oh, oh no, you're strangling Kotaro again. But, anyways, why did you come here in such a hurry? Talk to me. <laughs> so direct. <laughs> Tina, so direct. Konami told you. <laughs> oh my god, this girl. Don't make something absurd sound like common sense. But, I see. Konami told you, huh? Huh? Love consultation? Well, in a way, yes. Konami? With Tina? Actually, it's more like Tina started all this. Wait, now that I think about it, there are several occurrences that match up with that. Yep, you know the thing at the flower park and the horror movie thingy? That time we rented that movie, you said it then, right? That it was necessary to fulfill my love. Don't tell me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna foresee Yuma, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Thought so. Is that so? Then why did you try to hook me up with Konami back then? Just because you're a love fairy? What? <laughs> That's not reason at all. Yeah, you're just randomly doing stuff. God damn it. What's the real reason? So that's why. I don't know how it turned out that way, but I guess it's really true that she simply misunderstood. But it's because of that that you know things turn out this way. How how are we gonna answer this? I guess Tina is talking about a romantic kind of love here. What are you saying? There's no way I would love her. I don't. That's even more impossible. She's a precious family member. As a family. As my little sister, yeah. Uh, Tina, are you mixing stuff up now? <laughs> What are you being on about now? <laughs> hey, shut up, Kotaro! That's not it. There, take a look behind you. Behind Tina, we see Konami's figure approaching us in a half run. She did that? Yeah, she just, you know, rushed to talk to me? Yeah, 
Ah, right. I heard you told Tina about it. Well, yeah, I mean, Tina did help out quite a lot in this route, so that's something she's good with, at least. As for Tina, well, I guess she doesn't care about that kind of stuff, so it's fine, but... Yeah, but I mean, Tina's the one who started all this, so... You still don't know that it's taboo, Tina. <laughs> about what Konami told you. Yeah, please keep it a secret or else all hell's gonna break loose. <laughs> I actually have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I really have a bad feeling about this. I don't quite trust Tina. That's fine then. That also includes how his son and Mio, got it? This is gonna turn out bad. <laughs> Konami breathes a sigh of relief. I don't even need to think about it to know that it will certainly bring trouble if she told anyone. Well, he gave his reason that I I love her as a family, as a sibling, not as a not as a lover, you know. Well, about that. Naturally, there are things I can't say right in front of Konami. <laughs> uh, maybe? There's no way I would say something like that. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> you don't even have near. You don't have to. And you don't even have earplugs to begin with. Some other time. Come on, let's go home quickly. What? <laughs> what? That I... I... I rejected you? Give me a break. Come and stay grey. Quite persistent both of them. Testo? <laughs> a test, you say? Uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, Tina, what are you gonna do? You're gonna push her to me? Hey! Oh, the whoa! I catch Konami who comes sleeping into my chest in my arms. T Tina, why are you? Oh no, now we're so close together. What's gonna happen? Eh? Just as I'm about to voice my complaint to Tina, I notice that Konami's face is mere centimeters from my own, and... S -s 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 sorry what, what? What? Konami, what? I try to distance myself immediately, but Konami stops me by gripping my uniform. Konami? Okay. The moment of truth right now. Ah, uh, her milky sweet scent that's drifting out of from her body that is good to mine. The soft pair of breasts that are pressing against me. You even talk about breasts, okay? <laughs> Both of these sensations assault and seduce me at once. Well, as much as I hate to say again, <laughs> Tina is making the right moves here. Although it's kind of for the wrong reasons because this is an incest relationship, but well, still <laughs> she's she's making the right moves, Tina. Ah! Uh -uh! I grasp Konami's shoulders and forcibly push her away from me. Oh. Konami abides while letting out a regretful voice. Right, not only is Tina looking, but we're in the middle of a public street. Well, not like strangers know. The relationship between you two. I mean, there's that shopkeeper back at Flower Park who thinks you two are a couple. <laughs> yeah, but the 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 worst thing is if when if Aoi sees this, then that would be 
really bad. Yuma san ni mo naku ga ari sou desu ne. Sou na no, Nii san. Well, he's embarrassed though, that's for sure. What are you saying? There is no way that could. Just as I'm about to deny it, I stop and think. Was that really the case? She may be my sister whom I grew up with, with, but wasn't it an undeniable truth that she just made my heart skip a bit nonetheless? Well, it's actually kind of true, yes. I have to collect myself here. I mustn't give her any false hopes. I rejected her when she confessed to me. So isn't there, in fact, gentleness in making it clear? There is no way that could be true. As I say that, Konami stares at me with sad eyes. Seeing that look of hers, I could no longer find the words to say and fall into silence. Oh shit, good thing we, we aren't really hugging each other when I was there. Or otherwise... <laughs> Did I keep your mouth shut? <laughs> Don't say anything to an Aoi. You better not break... Go back on your word. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Maybe. Come to think of it, I really am hungry, yeah. Alright, I mean. With these words of her serving as our signal, we set off towards home. Oh, marble tofu, Sichuan style. Yeah, that, that one is the very, very spicy tofu originated in China, Sichuan, China. Yeah, and it somehow made its way to Japan as well. It's a very popular dish in both China, Sichuan, China, and Japan. Yes, it's karai, it's spicy. While absent-mindedly gazing at the backs of those two, I walk alongside Pete Konami. Hmm. For the most part, it was all Tina's fault anyway, so don't worry about it. Huh? Taking several brief steps to pull away, Konami then stops in front of me. <laughs> yeah, so you're saying that you're on the right track to winning Yuma over. <laughs> you. It seems that back then she asked me that question well aware of what actually went on inside of me. What do you want me to say? <laughs> You have already seen plenty of that today, haven't you? <laughs> Leaving me with these words while wearing a smile, Konami runs off to the other two in short steps. I really am no match for my sister. Yeah, she's gonna win you over. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> 